What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to Boo TV. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified whenever we upload a new video. Today, I wanted to talk about um, the 2010 NBA Finals Game 7, uh, Kobe capturing him, his fifth championship putting him one away from tying Michael Jordan for six. And as we know how that story goes, Kobe Bryant was never able to catch Mike in getting that sixth championship, unfortunately. But finished his career, five out of seven, ain't bad. Can't complain about that. This game seven was a mucked up game. It was a grinded out game. It was not pretty. It was ugly. It was physical. The refs allowed these teams to play defense. Yeah, they called fouls, but it was a low-scoring, mucky, grinded-out physical affair with the final score being 83-79 to in favor of the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, I know a lot of people look at this game seven and when they talk about how athletes performed in their game sevens, even in, in the playoffs and in NBA finals, they're like, oh, well, Kobe Bryant had a horrible game seven. He shot horribly. This is this is correct. Kobe Bryant did shoot horribly in that game seven. He shot six for 24. But I'm never going to hawk on a player for having a bad game, a bad shooting game. Players have bad shooting games. Are you aggressive? Are you staying aggressive? Which is good. Two, how are you impacting the game in other ways if your jump shot isn't going? For me, if a player has a bad shooting game, but they are impacting the game in other ways, contributing in other ways, I am going to really give them that hard of a time. Yeah, I would have loved for Kobe to shoot better. 6 for 24, I could do without that. 0 for 6 for 3, I could do without that. But how were you impacting the, the game in other ways? Why should we keep you on the floor? And Kobe Bryant did that. He played smothering defense all game. As the, the score shows, everybody put forth a strong defensive effort. But Kobe also grabbed 15 rebounds. 15 rebounds. To end up with 23 points, 15 rebounds, 2 assists, and a steal. You tell me I could go into a game 7 and Kobe Bryant's going to give me 23 and 15. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Because the Lakers needed every single one of those rebounds. And despite Kobe Bryant shooting poorly, Kobe Bryant wasn't the only player that shot poorly that game if the box score is any indication the low scoring affair it is both of these teams missed a lot of shots and the majority of the players were clanking all right looking at the boston celtics kevin Gar kevin garnett actually had a good uh shooting game kevin garnett shot eight for 13 uh rasheed wallace shot five for 11 one for four from three paul pierce five for 15 two uh two for three uh, R Rondo shot six for 13, uh, one for two from three point land. Ray Allen shot three for 14. Ray Allen, three for 14, two for seven from three. All right, uh, that's of notable players. I'm not going to go down the bench. Uh, Los Angeles Lakers, Pau Gasol had a decent shooting game, six for 16. Metal World Peace, decent, seven for 18. As we know, Kobe Bryant, horrible shooting, six for 24. Andrew Bynum, one for five. D Fish was pretty solid, four for six. Lamar Odom, three for eight. And then the rest of the bench players, the rest of the bench players for the Lakers that game missed every single one of their shots. Lamar Odom was the only bench player that got on the board with a field goal. Everybody else zeros offers now a lot of people don't talk about Pau Gasol in that game um despite Kobe Bryant's 23 points and 15 rebounds and his stellar defense Pau Gasol probably played better than anybody in that entire game Pau Gasol showed up played great defense was aggressive 
was not soft. Had hit some really big buckets in the fourth quarter, or at least one really. I remember one really big bucket Powell hit, where he's like hanging in the air, and, and actually I think he even traveled. I think his feet hit, his feet touched the ground before he released the ball, but it was very close, and the field goal was good. But anyway, Paul Gasol had 19 points, 18 rebounds, four assists, for the best plus minus on the team with a plus seven. Pau Gasol probably played the best that game. Despite Kobe's poor shooting, the fact uh, that he contributed so much to the game in other ways, his plus minus was actually even, sitting at zero. But, but Pau Gasol was probably the best player of that game. Uh, according to the numbers, according to the numbers, we all know how Kobe Bryant uh, initiates the offense, etc., etc. But Pau... Uh, plays a major point, uh, major part in the triangle offense as well. But anyway, like I said, most of the players shot horribly this game. Not just being, uh, but being definitely probably uh, being definitely did shoot the worst for players that were on the board, notable players that took a certain amount of shots. No question about it. But everybody had major contributions in this game, and everybody in those last final minutes of the fourth quarter hit big buckets or made big plays to help the Lakers secure that victory. Um, but like I said, I had to say that, man. I, I, any any player, any player in the history of this league, if you, I'm not going to, I'm not going to beat you up as much for having a poor shooting game as long as you're contributing in other ways. Defense, rebounding, passing, energy, engagement, I ain't going to give you, it's the players that have poor shooting performances, but don't provide anything else anywhere. Those players are what I would call purely scorers. See, Kobe Bryant gets labeled as a scorer. No, Kobe Bryant was elite at scoring, but because of that, all his other uh, contributions get overlooked. He was a complete basketball player and one of the greatest uh, defensive two guards we have ever seen. The dude has more all NBA defensive selections than almost anybody in NBA history. Actually, I think he's tied with Duncan for the most all NBA defensive selections. So I'm just saying, Kobe Bryant was more than a scorer. He was a complete basketball player. But usually with people that are purely scorers, when they when their jump shot is not on and they're having a bad shooting game, they can't contribute in other ways and really make an impact on the game if it doesn't include their scoring. All right, but anyway... Let's take a look at the um, some highlights and the final moments from that epic, classic, muck it up, low scoring game seven from the 2010 NBA Finals. This is that, this All right, here we go. The Lakers were losing by a large margin for a large portion of this game, and I was so scared. I was like, bro, we really about to lose game seven at home. Look how everybody in there crashing the boards, man. Both of these teams wanted this. Pal Gasol sticking with it. Let's go, Pal. <laughs> Pal was sticking with it, baby. Good move by Pal. Ray Ray. He didn't hit a whole lot of those. Like I said, Garnett had a good game. 8 for 13. Solid. Good pass by Powell. Good finish by Cole. Damn. Head at the bottom of the backboard. KG. Good pump fake. Good shot by Cole. Well, this is good basketball. He caught the ball. Two dribbles. Showed the shot. On balance. In the paint. Excellent fundamental work by Bryant. And the shots he's been Serena the other night. Garnett trying to save it. Jack Nicholson did not try to pick up the charge. And <laughs> Jack said, I'm getting out the way. Oh, you can't walk away like that. Uh -oh. Jack said, I'm getting out the way. Up. 
<laughs> Very disappointing defense. Jackson, I can't take that that punishment. Keeps his keeps his dribble. Dude, I miss I miss I miss our test. Get to the foul line and try to get some sort of rip. Ryan missing the first one badly. It's the second. Seven of the finals. It has been an offensive struggle. That boy, our test. Buckets. At some point you Still have to, to this day, you're being Ron Artest post-game interview for this game, the best, the best post-game interview I've ever seen in my entire life. My entire life. Tough shot, good defense. Dude, Rasheed Wallace. I, I got a video on Rasheed Wallace. Go check it out. Um, Rasheed Wallace was a problem, man. Scary as hell going against Sheed. Five, five championships. Dang. I like what Rondo's doing. Calls Kevin Garnett at half court. Certainly not an act of shooting. It says, settle down. Don't worry about it. Stay the course. Let's run our sets. Look how much every good. basket meant to these things. Yeah. Every basket. Either because of his son, Mark. It all comes down to a game seven. Good little play curling off the screen. Code able to get him a nice look. Our test drives inside. Banker. Oh! Lamar Odom not giving up on the play. Sometimes you just gotta find a way to get back into the ball game. Pushing the ball off of a stop. Lamar Odom outstanding job. Man, I miss these Lakers squads, man. For me, basketball hasn't been the same. Paul Pierce was a walking bucket. They call them the truth for the reason. A walking bucket. Nice bank shot. He does it again. Wallace has four field goals, all of them. Good low post shot. Receive, man. Bryant drives inside. Come on. That's a flop. That's a flop, KG. And a good defensive play here. Garnett had been hurting him with the face up, had scored on the play before. Gasol I'm so I'm so proud of Powell. Time. So proud of Powell this game, man. Gasol delivered. So proud of Powell, man. So Powell Gasol now gets a catch. And he's able to take advantage of his mismatch on the offensive end. In midseason, has helped them win two big playoff games. Game six against Orlando. And that important points. Doc Rivers, I give him credit. He has big guts. Well, you better ice them free throws. About before, Norris Burke telling us. Look at this. We have eight minutes in the fourth quarter. The score is 58-59. Like I said, they really started turning up near the end of the game. With the scoring. And one. And one. And one. Moving without the basketball, recognizing that Paul Pierce is a designated center fielder. Our test goes away. On for the ball. Back out Fisher. Fisher for three. Bruh, my boy deep fish, baby. That was a high arcing shot. That was good defense. Yeah, that was excellent defense. Excellent defense. Deep fish always came through, baby. Always came through. My 
boy D Fish, the man. Championship hanging in the balance here at the Staples Center. They trailed by as many as 13. 64 in the up. Third quarter. And slowly chipped away at the lead. And you got to give credit to Bryant. Struggling all game long. Dude, my heart was beating. For him offensively. But the guy has 12 big rebounds. He's now where the Celtics going to find offense right now. Bryant on the pull up. Puts it in. Hey, when it's winning time, no matter how bad Kobe Bryant might have been struggling, when it's winning time. Bryant saying, I'm going to roll these dice and I bet not crap out. Knocks down a big When it's winning time, baby. I'm going to hit those more often than not. And the Lakers with that terrific performance in game six. And what a turnaround here in game seven. Bryant one for two, five point game. Both defenses have been amazing here tonight. Pass inside to Garnett. Garnett throws it down. The game. Wallace on to Sol. Maxin spins. Safe. That's the play right there I was talking about. An incredible shot. He hung in the air for a long time. Two defenders, maybe three defenders lunging at him, but I think his feet actually hit the ground. Before he got the shot off. Three defenders on him. There, there's a different angle. But. I was so pr proud of Powell, man. Steve. Go look at my video on Rashid Wallace. I think it's, I remember this, big, big assist, big shot by Ronnie, big shot by Ron Artest, huge shot by Ron Artest. Still with two timeouts remaining. Neither team with a foul again. Some big shots down the I love the sound of that. That ball through the net, baby. Twine, baby. Bryant makes the play instead of trying to go for the home run. Takes the double team and gets the ball to our test, and he does the rest. You got to be happy for Ron Artest. To down. Our test had his highs and lows during the course of the regular season and even in the playoffs. This ain't over yet. Fires a three. Short. Rebound loss. Picked up by Rondo. Rondo puts up a three. Puts it in. Now see, Kobe should have stayed on Rondo, but he went after Pierce. He was like, well, who do I fear more from the three-point line? Rondo or Pierce. Kobe went after Pierce because he didn't think Lamar Odom was going to go over to him. But Lamar Odom went over to Pierce, so they both on Pierce and left Rondo open. Is foul. Is only played five minutes. Kobe should have ran to Rondo and maybe yelled at Odom, hey, get over there. And he believes that he's an outstanding free throw shooter and the time won't change. That, that's how Rondo got so open on that play. Huge free throws here. I remember this. I was like, Sasha, man. Didn't hit a shot the whole game. Those were his. These were Vujicic's only two points of the entire game were these two free throws. And the most important free throws of the game were his only two points of the game. Shout out to Sasha Vujicic, man. To come in in this, in this moment and ice these two shots for his only two points of the game. Every, every player had major contributions to this championship. That were on the floor. And Kobe Bryant, never so closer to a fifth championship. All right, key here now, Boston, out of timeouts. They obviously have to score. NBA championship coming down to the. Is Boston going to hit another three? Is Boston going to hit another three? Inbounds pass, and you should recognize where the. What do you guys think? I know. Rondo looking, gets it. Pierce. Puts up the three, won't go. Rebound to Sol, kicks it out to Odom. Odom throws it ahead. The 
Lakers repeat back-to-back -back titles. The LA Lakers, the 2010 NBA champions. 16th NBA title in franchise history. Ah, why does this feel like it's happening right now for me? Why does it feel like that? Why does it feel like this is a, this is current? That's how excited I am right now. Just bringing back sweet, sweet memories. Sweet, sweet memories. Anyway, y'all, that's going to wrap up this episode. Appreciate you guys. Let me know where you were during this NBA uh, Game 7, this NBA Finals Game 7. Who were you rooting for? Were you rooting for anybody? What do you remember? What were your favorite moments? Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. We out, baby.